What's up, class? You're going to want to hang on for this ride, because we're about to barrel down the bumpy road of academic argument. I'm Mr. Jacobson, and we're calling this video How to Write a Simple Thesis. So, there are two kinds of thesis statements that we're going to be working with on this year, the simple thesis and the complex thesis. For today, we're only going to focus on the simple thesis, because basically, once you have this down, the complex thesis is really pretty easy. So the simple thesis looks like this. Why? Because A, B, and C. So what does that mean? If you look at the parts of a thesis, you'll see that there is a why part, which is a claim. If I'm going to build an argument, I have to be claiming something. The A is just a reason supporting my claim. And the B and the C are two more reasons. So why are we using three reasons, right? There's a claim and three reasons. Why, why not five or 10 reasons? So this is the way thesis statements are usually written at American colleges and European colleges too. This form of argument actually organizes itself into the five paragraph essay. And the form goes back thousands of years to the Greek philosopher Aristotle. Aristotle believed that the most convincing arguments would use the three most powerful examples to support a claim. So your Y is a claim, and the A, B, and C are actually your three best arguments that you can think of that support that claim. So um, interestingly, if you go to college in the West, right, we always write it this way, but if you go in Japan, um, it's considered very rude to just come out and unsophisticated to just come out and state your argument. Um, in the West, though, we like to get right to the point when we're making arguments. So let's do an example thesis and explain what we're trying to do here. So why, because, A, B, and C. Um, so there's our why, because, A, B, and C. So why? I'm going to make the assertion, my, my claim is that this video right now that you're watching is not a waste of your time. So I'm going to prove it to you here. Why? This video is not a waste of your time because A, so I need to learn to write this kind of thesis to be successful in this class. And for you, that is very true. Um, this class depends on you being able to write a thesis to pass it. And you have to pass this class to graduate high school because it's a high school credit. So that's a pretty good reason, my A reason for why this video is not a waste of your time. B, this form of argument actually organizes a five paragraph essay, which you can ride to a four year college degree. Um, it, once you have this down, it makes writing essays considerably easier. And I save the best reason for last. If I learn to support my ideas this way, I will win arguments against my friends, family, and teachers. Learning how to argue effectively is one of the great benefits of a good education. And hopefully this will go a long way towards that. So why? Because A, B, and C, you have your claim. You have a reason supporting your claim, another reason supporting your claim, and a third reason supporting your claim. That's how we want the thesis statements to look. So I figured I'd come up with a real life example that you can use tonight against your parents. So why? I should be able to hang out with my friends on a school night because what's an argument that would work, right? So like I could use an A reason. I could say I should be able to hang out with my friends because I'm going to have a lot of fun. I haven't seen my friends in a long time. So I don't think that would be a very effective argument. At least it wouldn't have been against my parents. You know, um, so I would look for an argument that would appeal to my audience. So if your parents are your audience, maybe an argument that would convince them would be, I'm all caught up on my schoolwork. So why? I should be able to hang out with my friends on a school night because A, I'm all caught up on my schoolwork. B, studies show that students who lead an active social life perform better in school. And if it was my parents, I'd have to actually cite those studies and prove that they existed. Um, and C, and I saved my best, most convincing argument for last. If you let me hang out with my friends tonight, I promise to clean the bathroom every day for a week. So you see, we have a claim, the why, and three solid reasons, the most solid reasons I could think of that support that why to convince my audience. So that is the gist of the simple thesis. Good luck.